welcome to another video. As you can see by the title of this video, I created a full face of makeup using products that are under 100 Rand. It was kind of hard because some products that I completely haven't used in a long time are the ones that were under 100 Rand. So it's best to say that I discovered some old favorites. In this tutorial, I use all drugstore easy to find products, which is pretty good for a girl or a guy under a budget. If you like this look, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any favorite kind of products that you want me to try, please leave them down below. I really, really, really want to kind of expand my makeup collection and try out some new hidden gems. Let's get into this video. So after scoffing down some water, I'm going to go in with the Second Love Soft Brown Eyebrow Gel. This was gifted to me and I must say that I am so impressed. It's definitely worth checking out. Then I'm going to go in with a pretty much staple, which is the Ally Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And I'm just going to use that to carve out the lid and basically blank out my lid. Then I'm basically going to pound on a load of powder. <laughs> just to set everything. My eyelids crease really easily, so it's important that I set it properly. I couldn't decide which palettes to use, so I sort of just grabbed a couple, and I'm gonna go in with a shade from the Essence My Must Haves palette. This is the shade Hello Sunshine, and we're just gonna pop that in the crease. Then I'm gonna go into the LA Girl Smoky Eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna go into this cool tone brown to kind of further deepen up the outer and inner V. I've been really loving halos recently. I have no idea why, but I'm really loving it. Then I'm going to go into this very dark purple called Black is a Berry, also by Essence. All of these single shadows are part of the My Must Haves collection. You just sort of buy them and put them in a palette together. That purple is just going to give us a nice edge. And my brother magically pops up at the back. <laughs> then just to like further intensify the center of the halo, I'm just going to apply some concealer and then blend it out with my finger. Then I'm going to go in with the shade from the Catrice uh, Absolute Rose Eyeshadow Palette. I'm just going to palette it with my finger. Then I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite shade from this collection called Cotton Candy. I mean, look at that. Some of my staves were kind of hit and miss, but they are some gems, trust me. Then I'm going to go in with this liquid liner from Maniso that I bought, like, really recently. I started out drawing it um, the wing out like normally and I found that the applicator was so stiff. It, it was quite hard to get like a straight line. So you'll see, there we go, in the second eye that I just kind of stamped it on since it was so tough to move and that seemed to work a lot better. I think I have to play around a bit more with this eyeliner to give you like a final verdict because that was just bad. <laughs> Then after cleaning up, I'm going to go in with my favorite lashes by Kiss. They're called the I Envy So Wispy Lashes in the shade, in the shade, in the style 4. And we're just going to apply that on with some clear lash glue. I love clear lash glue because even if you mess up a little bit, it doesn't show. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me, my Impolis foundation. I really love this foundation. It's one of my favorite because I have oily skin. I find that this foundation, it looks a lot better when you use a brush compared to a sponge. So that's what I'm doing. Can't forget the singing, right? 
Then I'm gonna go back in with the LA Girl. I don't know why it looks so bright through the camera, but it trust me, it's not that bad <laughs> in person. I'm just gonna spray my sponge with some setting spray and just blend in the concealer. Nothing blends in concealer better than a sponge to me, truly. Then after blending out one eye, I have to set it with some setting powder, otherwise, guys, it's a real problem. I'm using the Essence Stay All Day Translucent Powder. I'm still trying out this powder. It's okay. That's all I can say so far. And I know it looks like my face has a lot of powder on, but it, it's not. This powder is just like really, really white. Then I'm just going to dust off the bake. I'm not going to set my entire face because once again, this is a matte foundation. And trust me when I say this foundation is matte, people. It is matte. Then I'm going to go in with the crease color on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a different shade called Mavi Time. Just to add a little bit of a subtle purple hint at the bottom. Then I'm going to go into Black as a Berry and there's Chad again. <laughs> I'm going to go into Black as a Berry on the outer kind of edge. Then I'm going into the LA Girl Spice Blush Palette and I'm going to be using the bronzing shade just to bronze up. I don't always contour so bronzing, bronzing is, is it for me. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Essence Illuminate Your Face Palette and I'm going to be using those two shades over there just to highlight my face as well as the cupid's bow. Going back into the Spice Blush Palette, I'm going to use the darker blush kind of shade. I don't wear blushes often, so this was an occasion. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with the Essence False Lashes Mascara and I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes. Going in with the Essence in the Nude Liner, Essence do have my favourite lip liner. I'm just going to go in with a velvet matte lipstick from LA Girl called Bite Me. This is quite a pinky nude, but I felt that it went really well with the eye combination. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the final look. I really, really love how the eyes came out, especially the kind of iridescent. I don't want to say holographic because I still... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I really like this color combo. I'm trying to move away from my usual um, kind of warm tones. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be part of the wonderful family, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up. As I said, don't forget to let me know what your favorite drugstore under 100 Rand product is. I don't know if that even makes sense. Thank you guys so much for watching.